Hey everybody, this is Brian, and in this video we're going to talk about how to construct a butterfly with Magic 8-Ball, the stock market prediction engine. If you don't know what Magic 8-Ball is, go ahead and there's a link below, join up, and I will see you in there. Alright, so what are we talking about here? Out of all those trades, we are talking about the butterfly. It looks something like this. Boop, boop. It has low risk to high reward. Now there's a catch, as with everything in the stock market, there is a catch. It has to be within this range, and the closer you are to center, the more profit you're gonna make. So if we just follow a little ball here, you see we're at negative 100, and then once we get into what's called the profit tent, it goes up rapidly. So if we were to pin this thing, we would make $2,300. Butterflies are awesome. They are also very confusing and very complex. Let's dive in and take a look. Let's talk about why you would use a butterfly in the first place, okay? Let's go ahead and let's look at Thinkorswim here and let's look at the day. So we've had a couple downtrending days and today's kind of flat. So let's go ahead and jump right into today and sure enough, it's pretty much flat. We can see it's hovering around around 39.40 and change. Let's flip into Magic 8-Ball and see what Magic 8-Ball's gotta say. We're gonna go down to SPX, go down to the newest prediction and you can see, ah, yes, node one is 39.50 and change. So it is predicting a close of 39.47 and long term of 39.50. So there's our range between the, our short term and our long term. So 39.45 and 39.50. In case you're ever confused and you want a range, that's how you get it in Magic 8 Ball right there. You can also look at the automatically generated chart and you can see the blue line is the prediction and the magenta line is the actual price. So the price is actually lower than the prediction. This is like the perfect time to enter a butterfly and I'll show you why. So we're going to grab this and it says a butterfly is a neutral bias with a center strike. And we're just going to copy this, go into thinkorswim, delete that and let's go into our order entry and saved and paste that in, unlock it to get the actual price which is 195 right click and we're going to analyze this and this is what our butterfly looks like we would be risking two hundred dollars to potentially make 719 i'm looking at this little box over here with the numbers changing now what we want to do you see here's where the price is we want to construct our butterfly so the price is outside and it's going to move into the profit tent you can see this magenta line that's time decay or i should say that's your profit over time and as the price moves towards 39.50 our center strike right there we will start making money. So this would be the great time to use this. We know the price is going to move into our profit tent based off Magic 8-Ball's prediction. Now, when would you actually use a butterfly? That is a really tough question to be brutally honest with you because butterflies are very versatile and let me explain why. You're selecting a range, but are you? You can actually turn this into what's called a broken wing butterfly. And let's do that. So we're gonna grab this strike. This is 3960. We're gonna bump that to 3965. You see what's happening here. Now it's not symmetrical and we would lose less money. And you could actually construct this a little bit differently. So like, let's do this right here. What we've done now is a broken butterfly. So if this price rips up and just keeps going up, we're still gonna be in profit. This is insane. So it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. So butterflies are very versatile in the sense that you can do a range and try to pin that range, a lot like we see here in option strat where you're in this range, or you can actually construct it as a broken wing so it has a directional bias. So if the market just moved up and kept moving, we'd still make money regardless but we'll make the most money in this profit area. So butterflies are incredibly useful. They're also very, very complex. You can make them extremely small or extremely big. Just know the bigger you go, the more expensive they get. Now, one thing you notice right here is this is a debit, not a credit, meaning you have to pay to get into a butterfly, unlike the other trades where you actually get money up front. Now I wanna take a moment here and do a special shout out to Ernie with Zero DTE. He actually specializes in butterflies and asymmetric risks. I've actually taken his course and I've been a member of his group and I gotta tell you, it was mind blowing. It absolutely blew my mind being in his course. So definitely shout out to him. And I should note the broken wing butterfly, I learned that from Ariane in the Axe group. 
their group is nothing short of amazing. Here's her video right here, the broken wing. And she walks you through in way better detail than I ever could about the broken wing butterfly. So that is when you would use it. The butterfly is what I call the Swiss army knife of trading because you can use it in almost any situation. You can have it as you know a directional based or you can have it as a say range based where you know exact range. When do you take profit on a butterfly? That is a very tough question and it depends on who you ask. I personally, I just use these as a lottery. I'll throw a butterfly out there and if it makes money, it makes money. If it doesn't, I just let it die a dignified death. But a lot of people will not do that. They'll actually close it. The problem here is um, taking profit with a butterfly is very confusing. You see this pink line here. If this thing jumped right up to 39.50 where Magic 8 Ball predicts this is going to go, we're only going to make $54, but we have a potential. I'm looking at this little black box over here. We have a potential to make almost $800. So if you're a gambling person, this is a really tough one for you because you're looking at that going, I don't want to make $35. I want to make $800. The problem with that is you have to stay in this trade until the end of day to get that full profit or so late in the day that it's you know almost impossible to get back out of the trade. So there's really two mentalities here. Take profit when you get it, meaning if this thing were to zoom up and you made you know 30 bucks, you take the 30, 40 bucks. Or the other mentality is ride and die. You just ride this thing right into expiration and try to be in this profit tent here. Now, special note, if you're gonna do the latter, check out the broken butterflies. So we would do something like this. So if this actually just ripped up and kept going way out of our profit tent, which I've seen happen, it will end up out here somewhere and you'll still make money. Now let's talk about the dark side of the butterfly, when to close. Um, that's a challenging one. You have to pay to get into the butterfly, so you're automatically losing money going into the trade. So you gotta really have a strategy and know what you're doing. So you see the price is kind of moving away. Now, this is a gut check for you. Our max loss is $200, our max profit is 800. You've already spent the money. If you exit the trade, you have no opportunity for this price to turn around and go back into your profit tent. Days like today, it is really challenging to determine what's gonna happen because if we think our butterfly is right here, for example, this thing could go up like Magic 8 Ball predicts, and it has previously in the day. If we close that trade, well, that opportunity is gone. However, if the market just starts tanking, the money's pretty much gone. If the price just goes all the way down, there's really nothing you can do to recoup that loss other than open a new trade, which honestly, I wouldn't advise that, and a lot of other investors would tell you not to do that as well. You really gotta get your head screwed on straight. So. When to close this thing? It depends. If you're making money and you're happy with the money, take the money. If you're taking a loss, make sure you can afford that loss and never enter a trade that's richer than what you can afford. Now, a special note, you see this pink line, I call it pink, it's actually magenta. This is the current. So if the price is here and I close this now, I'd be at negative $30 versus the blue line, which is end of day, I'd be at negative 200. So if the price just started going way, 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 I could actually close it and not take a max loss. 